guys, this is James from AppSpy. I am still at Gamescom and I've been playing Armello, which is a strategy game, board game thing, which also has elements of RPG games and card games. So it's a bit of a hybrid. You see a bunch of characters up there on screen, some bunnies and bears. Here are some rings. These are perks that you can add to your character. There are four characters in the game. The idea is they start on the outskirts of a board and they have to head into the center to basically take over the kingdom from that king chap you saw at the beginning. Here's my ratty character. Uh, if I want to conquer the throne, I have to advance through these hexagonal areas. They're all different, you can see. Uh, there are benefits and perks to each of them. So, for example, if you go and pick on those houses in the middle, if you jump onto there, it'll give you one gold every time the dawn rises, because there's a night and day system in the game. If you dive onto mountains, it will cost you two movement points, but it'll also give you defensive perks. Uh, same thing with the forests, they uh, become stealthy at night time. So if you dive into that and the sun goes down, you'll be invisible to your enemies, of which there are three also scattered around the board. Those characters you saw at the beginning, there's a rabbit and there's a bear. Uh, really nicely drawn, actually, just like this art you see right here, this shining steel sword. Uh, these are cards that tell you what you've been given, so you can equip weapons and eventually use them in battles if you fight either NPC characters which populate the board or the other players. Uh, now, my little rat person has just done his move, so it's moved on to the bear. This is Sana, this female bear character. There is also this chappy here, Thane, who's like a kind of foxy-looking wolf dude. Uh, and then up here we have the rabbit, Amber, who's hopping in. And they're all trying to make their own pledge for the throne. So it's kind of like Game of Thrones with a bit more fur, I suppose. Now it's turned to night time, you see the lighting change. It zooms into the center of the kingdom. He looks a little bit thoughtful, the king, and he summons this massive bird thingy. This is an evil NPC, which you must try and take out with uh, your masterful ratty powers. Let's a quick look at him. Oh, look at him. He looks a bit nasty. So, what ends up happening is you got to dive into a little bit of combat. So, I've pulled out the shining steel sword. I'm equipping the card in my item slots. And uh, I think I also pull out something else. This was recorded earlier today. That's why I'm not narrating it in real time. Also, incidentally, apologies for the quality of the mic, everybody. All these Gamescom videos sound a little bit worse than usual because I'm in a hotel room at the moment recording voiceover because at Gamescom, you can't hear anything. So I have to use this little portable mic, but uh, better than nothing. So here, here's the actual combat. Now, note that these drawings are placeholders. This is still very much a work in progress. Not gonna be out till next year. You've rolled the dice, I actually physically flip the screen and roll dice, which I think is really neat. And then you can see the battle play out. Now you'll, you'll also see other things that are placeholder, it'll say like illustrated art team or something like that. Uh, this isn't even coming out until next year and maybe quite a way into next year. They're working on the PC version. It was a, partially a Kickstarter project, I think. They got additional funds from Kickstarter, but I'm really quite taken with it. It's surprisingly charming. The way they've drawn all the animal characters is kind of wonderful and they've managed to delineate between male characters and female characters without putting them all in dresses or massive suits of armor to distinguish them. You can just tell by looking at their faces. In fact, the overall art design is really, really strong. I love the animated cards that you can see on the left-hand side of the screen. You see that eye blinking away. All of the cards themselves are all animated in their own sort of unique way. Um, there are item cards and spell cards you see here bringing up this menu. I'm really looking forward to when this is completed. This is a very, very early look. I want to stress this, so if it looks like it's not quite finished yet, it's because it isn't, but I'm kind of excited. It's called Armello. It will be out sometime next year. This was the Apps by First Look, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.